Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, bringing you an updated 7.1.5 Marksman Hunter update video, I guess you could call it. I think that's what I called the last one. Uh, I've done, I actually just got done raiding, uh, not 20 minutes ago. Decided to record something, show a little bit of my findings, because I've noticed that there's not a lot of... Uh, you know, content out there letting people know, you know, what what you're seeing on live servers as for rating. So I have my numbers on our Warcraft, Warcraft logs from uh, last week, uh, and then for this week, and then I will show you a new up opener that I've kind of uh, been toying with. I'll get some feedback from you guys. Maybe, maybe you like it. Maybe you don't, and we'll just kind of go from there. So, let's see here for talents. Uh, the only thing I changed from my previous video is Sidewinders. I went ahead and uh, tried Sidewinders out because I really did not like the Arcane Shot spam. doesn't really feel Hunter to me, and I wasn't having very good results with it. So I went back to Sidewinders, which, as we talked about in the last video as well, it didn't get nerfed as much as we thought it would. Uh, instead of giving 55 focus, it only gives 40. It's kind of a different deal but at the same time I didn't notice it too much so there's that uh, stats uh, I will put in the description below a pawn uh, stat weight that icy veins use is I'm not really sure stat weights currently I'm still uh, uh, testing those out and trying to see what's better uh, as you see here as well I didn't change any of the stats that I had in my previous video uh, still run with the same trinkets, still the same weapon, all that good stuff. Uh, so, without further ado, let me show you the new uh, ro opening rotation. I took some information in the comments from the last video, so I thank you guys for giving me some positive feedback on that. Let me know what you're seeing. And actually, want to take advantage of the aim shot a little, the next sentence down there where damage increased by 100%. Uh, if you've not damaged the target yet. So instead of pulling with crows or wind burst, uh, make sure and pull with aim shot. So the opening would look something like this. Obviously, you're going to have food, you know, potions, flask, all that crap. Uh, so you're going to, with about two seconds left, pre pot, then you're going to go with aim shot, and then I just kind of go down the line with wind burst. Uh, murder of crows then I will go with true shot come over here to sidewinders which puts us right around 115 if you if you're running the same uh, amount of haste I am which that's not like a, a number you should reach or anything it's just kind of what I'm seeing so far and then I can get off I believe it's two three yes three aim shots then I come back over sidewinders uh, do two aim shots I will then mark shot and then by that time, Sidewinders is up, and then I dump into aim shot until the end. So I'm still toying with this. Uh, it's not set in stone. It's just, you know, my opinion, so disclaimer on that. Uh, but let me try it out here, and we'll hope for the best. Hopefully I don't screw it up like I did the first couple times. Okay. And then you can go ahead and hit this again, dump that, and then by that time, as you can see, uh, it is out. So then I'll, I'll hit these because I feel needy to. But as you can see down here, uh, I still bursted well over 600k before I started hitting all that extra stuff. Uh, I know that I went ahead and I pre-potted and I have a flask, so keep that in mind. Uh, I didn't do anything extra, like I didn't use like an extra proc of Zephram's Hunger. Hey, I learned how to say it. And I, I probably only got about maybe an extra 200k total out of my uh, belt. So that's just something that I've been toying with. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I, like I said, as you, some people have seen in the other video, I do comment on or reply to every comment that you guys leave. Uh, I definitely enjoy reading those. And looking here, I kind of had some notes written down from Raid. 
uh, let's see here. So I am for my heroic raiding guild. I'm still like the tied between the top two DPS in my guild, even like currently with the uh, the setup I have here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Nithendra, I did 374. I'll actually just write this on the screen as you can see it. But uh, Nithendra did 374 compared to 357. Uh, last week, so I actually upped that there. Uh, 416 on Ursoc to 426, so a little bit down there. Dragons, I actually went up to 413 versus 372. Uh, Ren Feral is where my huge increase was. I did 447k on Ren Feral and did 370 or 352, excuse me, uh, last week. Ilganoth was down significantly, but the fight was also much quicker for our group because we had a, a couple pugs that had some pretty good DPS, and that was kind of taken away from me a little bit. Uh, Scenarius was 377 compared to 415, but again, this fight actually took a lot longer than a normal one, so that's kind of skewed there. And Xavius, I got uh, 423k versus 440. Uh, we also did uh, some heroic TOV, did 331 on Odin versus 336 last week, and on Gorm I did 354 versus 361 last week. So there's not a ton of difference. I was really actually surprised by that. Uh, once I got going, uh, it wasn't too hard to, to kind of get into a rhythm, I found. Uh, I just want, if you would, if it, people end up using this build here, uh, make sure that when you sidewinders, you try to get as two, at least two aim shots in there. And then, for example, like on Gorm, when it's a heavy movement fight, whenever he's running around, having that procced, uh, marked shot in your pocket is really nice, and it helps kind of even out the DPS when maybe you wouldn't be attacking as much. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can get some good feedback on this. I, I'll still be uh, changing different things, trying to see what works, what doesn't. And hopefully this video will have some good insight for you guys to maybe think of uh, Marksman Hunters a little different. So I do appreciate you guys sticking with me and checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like below. Leave me another comment. Let me know, if you first off, if you watched the last one, if there's any uh, change compared to this video. Uh, this is the only thing I've tried in Raid so far, and it seemed to work pretty well. So and if you guys have use my other build in raid uh, let me know what that was like because I haven't actually done it so I want to try something new today so thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video